Recent astronomical discoveries have unveiled a startling possibility. Black holes, those mysterious cosmic abysses, may be lurking much closer to Earth than previously thought. Traditional understanding placed black holes in distant galaxies, light years away. However, newfound evidence suggests that these gravitational behemoths might exist within our own Milky Way, potentially in our cosmic backyard. The revelation challenges conventional notions about the proximity of these enigmatic entities and opens a gateway to a new era of astronomical exploration. Astronomers are now turning their instruments closer to home, scanning the night sky for subtle gravitational effects that could betray the presence of nearby black holes. If confirmed, this paradigm-shifting revelation not only alters our cosmic perspective, but also raises questions about the impact these nearby black holes may have on the dynamics of our galactic neighborhood. The possibility of these cosmic wonders residing in our celestial vicinity adds an exciting layer of intrigue to our understanding of the universe, prompting scientists to reevaluate the cosmic map that charts the boundaries between the known and the unknown. In the constellation Taurus, there is a cluster of a few hundred stars known as the Hyades. The cluster is just 150 light years away, and it could be hovering a stellar mass black hole. The idea of black holes lurking in star clusters is not new. Clusters often have large, bright stars that will eventually become neutron stars or black holes, so it is probable that earlier stars have already taken that path. The problem is proving it. Unless a black hole is actively consuming nearby material, it will be dark and difficult to see among a cluster of bright stars. Astronomers must use indirect observations to uncover the black hole. To look for black holes, the team compared observations of the Hyades cluster by the Gaia spacecraft with N-body computer simulations. The Hyades is an open cluster of stars, so it is only loosely gravitationally bound. Occasionally, a close encounter between two stars will toss one of them out of the cluster. Other close encounters will push a star more toward the center of the cluster, making it more strongly bound to the cluster. All of this contributes to how the density of stars within the cluster varies by distance from its center. One of the things the team compared is what is known as a half-mass radius. That is the radius within which half the cluster's mass is contained. With the presence of some black holes, the cluster should be slightly more dense, and thus the half-mass radius should be smaller. Another aspect is the central density, which should spike a bit if black holes are present. Given all this, a comparison between N-body simulations and Gaia data finds that the best model predicts the presence of two or three stellar mass black holes. Unfortunately, the results aren't conclusive. Although two to three black holes are the best fit for observational data, a model with no black holes or up to five black holes is still a reasonable fit. And the central density spike of the cluster isn't something the Gaia observations were sensitive enough to observe. The team even looked at 56 stars in the cluster that were binary star candidates, just in case one of them was a star orbiting a black hole but none of the candidates were consistent with a black hole companion. So, while it's quite possible that the higher Ds contains a stellar mass black hole, it will take more observations to be sure. Only then will we truly know whether there is a monster lurking in our midst. Recent news uh, about a, a black hole that's just isolated with a whole trail of stars freshly born behind it, like just discovered. Astronomers comparing maps of the universe uncovered something shocking. They just discovered the closest star-shredding black hole to Earth ever seen. A while ago, at the center of a galaxy not so far away, a supermassive black hole ripped a star to shreds. This newly detected outburst from the center of NGC 7392 is the closest yet example of a tidal disruption event called TDE for short, where a star is pulled apart and absolutely shredded by the massive gravitational pull of a black hole. 
The hungry black hole was spotted roughly 137 million light years from Earth, or about 35 million times as far as Proxima Centauri, the closest star to the Sun. As distant as that sounds, astronomers have only observed around 100 of these events so far. And this one is four times closer than the previous title holder of closest TD to Earth. Scientists discovered the TD in infrared, a different wavelength than most conventional TD detections, which usually come in X-rays, ultraviolet, and optical light. So they believe that there could have been many such events happening closely that we haven't even been aware of. And if that is the truth, should we be worried about this? Adding on top of this recent observation is a terrifying discovery by the Hubble telescope of a supermassive black hole, weighing as much as 20 million suns, which is creating new stars at an unprecedented rate. So instead of destroying or gobbling up the stars, it is instead plowing into gas in front of it to trigger new star formation along a narrow corridor. That technically makes it an invisible monster on the loose, which is barreling through intergalactic space so fast that if it were in our solar system, it could travel from Earth to the Moon in 14 minutes. The unpredictable behaviors of these two black holes have shocked the entire science community and have even gotten astrophysicists like Neil deGrasse Tyson weighing in on these recent discoveries. On one hand, we've got a black hole close to us that's shredding stars, and then we've got a distant monster black hole that is forming stars. Finding this nearby TDE means that, statistically, there must be a large population of these events that traditional methods were blind to, said lead author Christos Panagiotou, an astronomer at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, in a statement. So, that then means that we should try to find these in the infrared if we want a complete picture of black holes and their host galaxies. NGC 7392, however, is a blue galaxy churning out many new stars and creating a lot of dust in the process. This dust could obscure the center of the galaxy, where the supermassive black hole lives, in optical and ultraviolet light. But infrared light enables astronomers to peer through that dust and see what's going on. Now, about that runaway black hole that has everyone shook. This supermassive black hole, weighing as much as 20 million suns, rather than gobbling up stars ahead of it, like a cosmic Pac-Man, is plowing into gas in front of it to trigger new star formation along a narrow corridor. Like the wake behind the ship, we're seeing the wake behind the black hole. The trail must have lots of new stars, given that it is almost half as bright as the host galaxy it is linked to. Because it was so weird, Van Dockham and his team conducted follow-up observations with the W.M. Keck Observatories in Hawaii. He described the star trail as quite astonishing, very, very bright and very unusual. This intergalactic skyrocket is likely the result of multiple collisions of supermassive black holes. Astronomers suspect the first two galaxies merged perhaps 50 million years ago. That brought together two supermassive black holes at their centers. They whirled around each other as a binary black hole. Then another galaxy came along with its own supermassive black hole. This follows the old idiom, Tus company and frees a crowd. The three black holes mixing it up led to a chaotic and unstable configuration. One of the black holes robbed momentum from the other two black holes and got thrown out of the host galaxy. When the single black hole took off in one direction, the binary black holes shot off in the opposite direction. There is a feature seen on the opposite side of the host galaxy that might be the runaway binary black hole. Circumstantial evidence for this is that there is no sign of an active black hole remaining at the galaxy's core. But so far, questions regarding black holes often remain unanswered. We really hope with more observations and newer technologies, answers emerge soon. NASA's upcoming Nancy Grace Roman Space Telescope will have a wide-angle view of the universe with Hubble's exquisite resolution. As a survey telescope, the Roman observations might find more of these rare and improbable star streaks elsewhere in the universe. 
and as such it may be to identify the history behind these structures much better than current telescopes can. But what do I know? Orbit Beyond the Blue